you guys are having a wonderful day making some really good trades and yup let's just get into it because there is a lot of content to get into today as we can see bitcoin is currently at 20,287 or we could actually just call it 20,300 flat and again the federal reserve coming in today with some hotter than expected news raising the rates to 75 basis points but the market's expecting the fed to pivot and on the on the contrary the fed did not pivot and actually did the complete opposite of that and stayed hawkish and reaffirmed to the market that they are here to fight inflation and get it back to that two to their two percent target with the you know four percent interest rates even though we all know that it's it's obviously not enough to fight inflation but enough to send the economy into recession but again let's just play along with the fed and the fed you know today restating to the markets that they will not be pivoting and actually that they made a mistake it, they miscalculated that because the rates in the future are going to be significantly higher than what they anticipated so they are going to obviously raise the rates a couple more times than what the, the market was expecting and as a result you saw the markets completely sell off you saw the dxy get a big reversal towards the upside a complete up you know big move you know complete reversal from you know dipping down today we can actually take a look at some shorter time frames you guys can see that you know off the 75 basis points uh the market's completely you know sorry the dxy completely dumped and we actually saw on the shorter time frames as well that the market's completely pumped off of that news and right after that the you know press conference jerome powell comes out tells everybody no 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 there will be no pivot not today and that's exactly what i was been anticipating for the fed meeting was that they were not going to pivot and they are going to stay dead on trying well at least trying to fight inflation people, most people say they are fighting inflation well i will just i will, just, I will give them the, the benefit of the doubt that they're trying even though they're not trying enough they're trying they're raising the rates to four percent you got to give them a little bit of credit and right now you can see that the dxy surged back up towards the upside the s p sold off exactly as predicted <laughs> no i'm just kidding we don't predict things here we obviously make our bets and clearly we were right on this one so all congratulations to the discord members that were making trades on the s p 500 and again i've been talking about this area of resistance on multiple videos in the discord not only sorry not only on the discord but on youtube giving you guys free trade opportunities to get into these uh you know some potential shorts on the markets or some longs when we hit these these support levels so let's keep going and let's take a look at bitcoin bitcoin right now doing you know even though the markets came down over three or three and a half percent two and a half percent on the s p bitcoin barely moved down today it was a, a bit of a small move today i would say from the open it was only down about a one percent and a half and right now we are actually up because the dxy is getting a, a little bit of a slight pullback at the moment so that's actually quite bullish for bitcoin and again bitcoin is still chopping sideways in this channel and could very well be getting ready to make its next move towards the upside if the markets you know keep rallying towards the upside we get a pullback we could easily get a measured move back up to that 22 5 553 area basically we could actually just call it 20,400 around this area you could easily see you could easily see bitcoin get another pump back up towards the upside and get you know, a nice bit around this area again if we get back to, to this area right here i would be potentially interested in getting to a short position i'm actually in a short right now we are in the money i'm debating on taking profits on or short at the moment because we did enter during this fomc meeting and then you know there was a lot of volatility i believe for bitcoin as well we could take a look at some short term shorter time frames as well you can see that bitcoin was <laughs> dumping and pumping up and is going crazy along with the markets as well because the markets are going bananas today as well when the fed was uh announcing to the to the, to the world that they're they're gonna keep raising the rates and but yeah overall we can see that the dxy on market cipher is quite bullish on the daily time frame so it looks like the rates sorry the rates are going to keep moving up the dollar is going to keep strengthening and if the dollar keeps strengthening that is bearish for bitcoin and bearish for the markets but i gotta hand it to bitcoin because bitcoin has been holding off very 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 well with the dollar rising so much lately the dollar has just been going on a tear bitcoin has been standing still chopping sideways holding that nineteen thousand dollar area as strong support but eventually ultimately i think down the road we will break it but who knows when that's going to be
let's keep going we can take a look at the dxy on the weekly time frame something we don't do enough is take a look at the dxy on the market cipher as well and we can see actually we're getting some bearish numbers right here 17 and then 18 on the weekly time frame for the DB, dbsi number so ultimately the price will move where the smaller numbers are right here we can see that we have a minus three which is quite bearish for the dxy and on the monthly time frame as well we have a red dot at the moment on the november candle however we have not confirmed it right so we haven't confirmed anything for the reversal of the dxy we could easily pump back up towards the upside there's 27 days left in this candle as we just open a new month for november so just keep your eyes peeled for that let's take a look at bitcoin on market cipher quickly we can see that we have a 20 and a minus 5 on the daily time frame again this is much more bearish than yesterday's candle with the 17 and minus 3 so if the dxy reverses this down thrust move in the morning we keep going back up towards the upside then you will easily see bitcoin dropping below this level potentially coming back down to 19,500. if the markets keep dropping tomorrow as well you will easily see bitcoin drop as well in my opinion but again i don't know if it's going to be a huge move or if it's just going to be a small move like down to 19,500. who knows bitcoin has been getting some very low volatility lately it seems like almost like there's not enough uh, money interested in bitcoin at the moment especially with what's happening in the equities because if people are not going risk on into the nasdaq and they're not getting into these tech stocks you can bet your ass they're not getting that they're not going to dip their toes into cryptocurrencies but it doesn't stop me from doing analysis and give you guys giving you guys my take on the situation but ultimately our analysis was correct and we've been very vocal about it in the discord and on youtube as well and i told you guys i know there's a lot of people uh questioning this like they're they're, they're they are they are going to pivot and you know I, i've said i don't think they're going to pivot and if they do it will be a catastrophic mistake i agree if they do if they do pivot now it'll be terrible because inflation is clearly not under control we're going to see more of that coming on november let me just check my calendar right here november actually i think i have the calendar pulled up already let me just let me just pull this up quickly on november 10th we are going to get the next cpi numbers i believe so let me just drag this onto the screen here we can make it a little bit bigger so everybody can see and yeah i've been recording lately like this so we could actually throw in some 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 charts and some stuff like that because usually i just read these this calendar to to everyone but <laughs> i guess i just throw it on so i can show you guys what i'm reading but right now we can see that on uh, november november 10th we are going to get this us cpi numbers and again on november 8th is election day i believe for the us for the midterm election so that's going to be very interesting to see as well. So congressional elections is going to have a heavy impact on the DXY. So let's see what happens. So let's get this out of here. Just throw this into the corner on my right screen right here. I have six screens. Let's just keep doing a little bit more analysis into the markets. I believe this was a bloodbath today in the equities as well. Let's take a look at Meta. Meta coming down to around $90.54. If, if, if Meta can potentially get to maybe $85, $83, that'd be really interesting in getting into a heavy long on Meta uh, as we could potentially catch a huge bounce here for Meta. If it could easily come back to maybe you know, fill this gap around $120, that could easily happen for Meta. You could see that it happened for Snapchat. Snapchat had that huge sell-off during earnings. We came as low as $7.50, I believe, $7.65. And then look at this rally, yeah, almost 37% rally in Snapchat. And now I know it does not look like much, but this was a 37% rally from the lows. After all, Snapchat, you know, earnings were, were, were uh, I think it was a miss or something like that. It was a bad guidance or something. And then stock tank 30%. Right after that, the next day you have a... 39 40 percent rally in the stock so this could easily happen to meta again it's obviously going to be a little bit harder because meta is a bigger cap name so it's going to take a lot more money to move meta but you never know what's going to happen in these markets these markets are absolutely crazy i believe roku's earnings came out today as well but our roku is down about 20 percent at the moment so let's do a little bit of a measured move right here let's take a look how much down 20 percent is 20 percent would actually bring you down to that 42 dollar area a $43 area so around that area Roku is going to be opening tomorrow but we're gonna to have to see how the spy does overnight if the spy dumps and right now there's not actually not much too much movement in the spy at the moment it's kind of just chopping sideways digesting this news but you have to take into account what 
these uh, these hedge fund managers and these big institutions are going to be thinking because now that the market's been pricing in a pivot and they've been thinking about a pivot and they just got the signal from the Fed that there will be no pivot. There shall be no pivot, not anytime soon. That means they could potentially be starting to reallocate their funds and equities and start selling some in, in, in anticipation of this and starting to rebalance their portfolios and just get into other asset classes potentially because of what's happening at the Fed. What's been going on <laughs> for quite some time now. The, you know, the Fed is raising the rates and you don't want to fight the Fed. Even though they're raising the rates and the market is addicted to low rates, they are not ready to lower rates right now. The market is trying to, how do I say this, front run a Fed pivot. But every time the market front runs the, the Fed pivot, the Fed, the Royal Reserve sees the market rallying and it says, no, we will not pivot. Look how healthy the market is. The market's rallying even though we're raising rates. The market needs to take a huge dump towards the downside. There needs to be big economic data that comes out like high unemployment, right? We need to have even maybe inflation come down a little bit. Then and only then will you maybe consider taking a pivot on interest rate hikes or getting a maybe a potential pause. But he did signal that there could potentially be pause soon, maybe in December. We're going to have to see. He's still going to raise in December. He did signal that as well. So be ready, for, be ready for that. But again, congratulations to the Discord members who are following my trades. You guys are making some great money. And again, if you guys want to see my profit loss history, all my trades are posted in the Google Sheets on my website. Everything is posted there. I'm getting, I'm going to get it integrated into my website soon. I just need to find someone to do it as well. Anyways, thanks for listening, guys. You guys are awesome. And love you guys.